Good morning, children. Welcome to SBR online classes. Last class, we have studied about living things around us. In living things, what you studied? Yes. Rakesh is in vacation time. Rakesh is going his uncle's village. While going village, he sees many living and non-living things on the way. And plants and animals are yes, plants and animals are living things. They have they have many things in common. Plants and animals have many things in common. For example, both of them grow. Both need water and sunlight. Both need air to breathe. Both produce angworms of their own kind. And plant, plant is fixed in one place. But animal, it can move one place to another place. Plants can breathe that through the teeny holes on the leaves. But animals can breathe through its nose. Animals can breathe through its nose. Now you open volume number 2. Studio book volume number 2. Page number 16. Plants around us. There are many types of plants around us. There are many types of plants are there. They can be of different sizes. They can be different sizes, shapes and colors. Rakesh's grandfather has shown him many plants and trees on the farm. Rakesh's grandfather shows him many plants and trees in different sizes, shapes and colors. Here, what activity is there? Here some trees are there. Trees and plants are there. Unscramble the letters below each picture. Yes, here four pictures are there. Unscramble the letters below each picture to find out the names of the plants. We have to find out the names of the plants and we have to write here. That Rakesh and his grandfather saw. Rakesh and his grandfather saw some pictures. See, which tree this one? Can you identify this tree? A, N, M, G, O. Yes. See this tree? Yes, which tree this one? Is a mango tree. Yes, it is a mango tree. Next, you see. You can identify. Can you identify this tree? Yes. Yam. Yam double E. Yam. Yam double E. Yam neem tree. Which tree this one? Neem tree. Next. This one. Third one. Double D A P Y. Yes. It is a paddy. This paddy. Last one. This plant is having everyone's home. This plant is having. Yes. P A U L S I P A U L S I Yes Tulsi Which plant is this one? Tulsi Next page, 
page number 17 rakesh grandfather pointed out that a plant has many parts rakesh grandfather pointed out that a plant has many parts plant is having many parts the picture shows some of these parts and how they help a plant Yes, this is a plant. This is the plant. There are many parts in this plant. Yes. For this, for this, what we call so many parts are there in plants. Yes. These are the leaves. It is flower. Yes. It is flower. Leaves. Hmm. It is a stem. These are the leaves, and this is flower. This stems root. Yes, the flower makes fruits and seeds. Flower makes fruits and seeds. This leaves. The leaves help the plant prepare its own food. Leaves help the plant prepare their own food. Then. Tiny holes on this leaf. They are having small holes. Those holes we call tiny holes. The stem. This is the stem. The stem supports the plant. It carries food and water to all parts of the plant. It carries food and water to all parts of the plant. This root, the root is usually found below the soil. It found below the soil and holds the plant firmly. It holds the plant firmly, it means strongly to the soil. It also absorbs water from the soils. It also absorbs water from the soils. It is this is flower, leaves, this is stem, and this root. Let's look deep. Which of these? Plant part, do you think is the most important one? In this plant, which one is the most important? Of 
according to me it is root is important part why discuss in your home and tell your parents next rakesh wanted to know why his grandfather had so many plants on his home why is why his grandfather had so many plants on his farm his grandfather explained that plants help us in different ways his grandfather explained him plants help us in different ways how plants help us yes plant help us in medicine medicines it can help us in medicines fibers fibers good good oil food and other thing yes medicine can help plant like me tulsi turmeric and so on have medicinal plant value in medicines neem tulsi turmeric neem tulsi turmeric and so on etc neem tulsi turmeric and so on these all are the medicinal value in fiber jute jute cotton jute cotton used to make fabrics jute cotton used to make fabrics wood yes to make cells tables chairs cupboards and so on table chair and so on next oil sunflower oil sunflower oil coconut oil sunflower oil coconut oil brown oil and so on next food in food fruits fruits grains grains vegetables vegetables spices coffee tea wheat and so on as in medicines neem tulsi turmeric fabrics jute cotton and so on. wood table chair etc oil sunflower oil coconut oil ground nut oil food fruits vegetables fruits grains vegetables fruits grains vegetables coffee spices tea wheat and so on next other things rubber perfume toothpaste this last one other things rubber other things other things rubber other things rubber perfume toothpaste plants can help us in these types next 
solve these riddles yes i am usually found below the soil i am usually found below the soil and hold the plant firmly to the soil who am i yes already you have learned about plant in parts of plant you have learned yes who am i Blue. I help the plant prepare its own food. I help the plant prepare its own food. Who am I? Leaves. Next. Animals around us. Perfectly. Use the clues to find the names of Rakesh's favorite animal. Yes, here clues are there. You have to identify which one is Rakesh's favorite animal. First one, a big grey animal. It is a big grey animal that has a trunk. That animal is. Having a trunk, a tail, and two big ears. It is having. It is a big grey animal that has a trunk, a tail, and two big ears. It is a yes, which animal? It is an elephant. It is an elephant. A small animal that lives on trees eats nuts and has a bushy tail. A small animal that lives on trees eats nuts and has a bushy tail. It is a is a This Next third one, an animal with yellow. An animal with yellow is having yellow and black strips on its body. It has a tail. It has a tail and lives in the forest. It lives in the forest. Other animals are afraid of this animal. Other animals are afraid of this animal. Yes, which animal? It is a tiger. It is a tiger. Next, Rakesh wants to know if he would find his favorite animal in his uncle's farm. Look with him. Which is your favorite animal? Which is your favorite animal? Write a clue for it. Yeah? Some clues are there. For that type only you have to write clue. Ask your partner to guess the animal. You can ask your parents to guess the animal. This is Homer. Next. Look beyond. Let us learn to draw one of Rakesh's favorite animal. Here, Rakesh's favorite animal is there. Follow these steps to steps and draw it in the box below. You have to follow these steps and you have to draw here. It is also common. Yes, last. Give an adjective 
to describe this elephant after you have to see the steps and you have to draw rakes favorite animal give an adjective to describe this elephant it is elephant yes it is big or huge Rakesh's mother explains to him that tigers and wild animals that usually live in the forest. Rakesh's mother explains to him. She explains to Rakesh that tigers are wild animals. Tigers are the wild animals that usually live in forest. Animals that live in the forest are called wild animals. Animals that live in forest we call wild animals. For example, lions, tiger, elephant, foxes, giraffe, and bears. These all are the wild animals. These animals find their own food and shelter in the forest. These animals they find their own food in forest and as well as shelter also some of these animals like elephants can be friendly and live with people elephants are free friendly with the people lions live in den which animal is one this is a lion lions live in den bears live in caves crocodiles live in water foxes live in fox holes rabbits live in burrows monkeys live in live on trees monkeys live on trees while tigers and lions eat other animals tigers and lions they eat other animals Rabbit and monkeys eat plants and roots found in the forest. Monkeys and rabbits they eat plants and roots found in the forest. Unlike these wild animals, domestic animals live in farms or in a home. Domestic animals can be of two types. Domestic Domestic animals are having two types: farm animals, farm animals, and pet animals. Farm animals and pet animals. Some people keep animals at home. Some people. They keep animals at home. They are called what we call pet animals. These animals give us company and are a part of the family. These animals they give company and they are a part of the family. Dogs, cats, and fish are some of the pet animals people keep at home. Cat, dogs, and fish. These are the pet animals people keep at home. We feed them and give them shelter. These pet animals we feed them and give them shelter. Some pet animals also help us. Some pet animals also help us. For example, yes. For example, dog guards our houses. Cats and dogs are common pet animals. Cats and dogs are the common pet animals. However, the dogs and cats 
roaming free on the road are not anybody's pet and are known as stray animals if dogs and cats are roaming free on the road are not anybody's pet and are known as stray animals for them we call stray animals next look around match the pets to how they are kept at home name the spaces cat cat basket fish bowl dog kennel number four dog basket for cat basket for cat bowl for fish yes cat basket fish bowl dog kennel now to open companion book companion book page number 29 find someone who owns a pet how to find someone and who is having pet interview the person and fill in the following details you have to take interview and all the details you have to fill here what animal is the pet what is the name of the pet take the interview of that person who are having pet what animal is the pet what is the name of the pet where does the pet live what does the pet eat who takes care of the pet you have to fill all these answers yes this page number 29 is Homework. You have to take anybody is having pet. Take the interview of that person and fill all these answers. Yes. Today, what you have learned today in today's class? Yes. Many. types of plants are there for example mango neem paddy tulsi and parts of the plants root flower leaves stem root hmm? the flower makes fruits and seeds the leaves help the plant to prepare its own food the stem supports the plant and it carries food and water to all the part of the plant the yes, last one is root is usually found below the soil and it holds the plant strongly it also absorbs water from the soil next different ways in plants medicines fibers wood 
oil, food, other things. We are using plants in medicines, fibers, wood, oil, food, in food, fruits, grains, vegetables, spices, coffee, tea, wheat, and so on. In oil, sunflower oil, groundnut oil, coconut oil, wood, make, make cells, tables, chairs, fibers, jute, cotton, used to make fabrics, medicines, plants like neem, tulsi, turmeric, these all are the medicinal values, medicinal plants. And other things, rubber, perfumes, toothpaste. Next one, Rakesh's favorite animal. Which is the Rakesh's favorite animal? Yes, elephant, squirrel and tiger. Next, you have to draw Rakesh's favorite animal. And next, which are the wild animals? Wild animals live in forest. Tiger, lion, elephant and so on. These live in forests. And domestic animals are having how many types? Two types. Farm animals and pet animals. Thank you children.